All right, so before this episode starts, can I just say that this Minecraft menu looks amazing? <laughs> it looks so cool. Anyways, welcome back to my Minecraft Nether Survival Let's Play series, where in this episode we are picking up exactly from where we left off in the last episode. I have not done anything. If you did not watch the last episode, we uh, did some bartering with piglins and we got a bunch of stuff. Uh, we got a bunch of iron boots with soul speed. We used a bunch of gold. Um, and we got a bunch of fire resistance, which I'm really, really excited about. Uh, so that is really cool. We also got fire charges and a bunch of other stuff. Also, we have a ton of string now, so that is really cool. We can actually now make wool. Uh, so that's cool. Anyways, in the last episode, we ended off with the question of what tools I should make. And I've been looking through all the com comments, and thank you all for all the feedback. And I think I have decided on what to do. I'm not going to make the axe. I'm not going to make the sword either. This is what we will be doing. This is what we will be spending our materials on right now. So we will be saving the eight diamonds and the eight iron for now. Um, the diamond pickaxe I'm going to make because we will need it eventually anyway uh, to get ancient debris. So I'm going to make that and I'm not going to carry it around with me because, well, uh, I might die and lose it. So I don't want to do that. But we now have it and it's going to be in here until we actually find ancient debris we can mine. Um, another thing that, of course, a lot of you suggested was a lava bucket, so to use it as fuel, which I probably should have done a long time ago. But thank you all for the suggestion. I'm going to do that, especially, I think, in the next episode, because I think I have a plan for that, and I might need a bunch of fuel for that, um, or at least after that episode. But anyways, we have that, so that is cool. We're going to fill that up. And then this right here is basically the tool station or the tool, what is it called? Tool forge, tool station, smithing table. I, none of those were correct. <laughs> the smithing, the blah, blah. I can't talk today. I'm sorry. The smithing table is essentially what you use to convert diamond gear into netherite gear. And I'm just making it now just because I want to make it. I want to, I, I want to spend something. I want, I want to make it. There you go. That is, it's up here together with the respawn anchor, which we also made in the last episode. So that is really cool. We now have that. We just need ancient debris now. So that is really awesome. Tool wise, I'm just going to stick with wooden. Oh, come on. That's so annoying. <laughs> I'm just going to stick with wooden tools for now. Um, and yeah, let me know if you think this decision is the best one. Um, yeah, let me know down in the comments below. We can basically remove this chest now. I don't want this chest here. We don't need it. And uh, yeah, it, it just it just takes up space. So I'm going to put that away. I am, though, going to take this gold and I'm going to take make some gold armor. Let me see, though. Uh, advanced tool tips. Okay, so the armor durability, it's not the best. But it's better than the leather. So I think I'm going to make some gold leggings and a golden helmet with this gold right here just to get myself some extra protection and I'm not even gonna I'm not I'm not gonna make gold tools it's just not worth it um, like a golden axe has like 32 uses I'm, I'm not gonna waste gold on that that's I would much rather use it for battering and potentially get some more iron so not that I'm using the iron for tools anyway, but again, let me know what you think of that down below. Uh, I'm also going to make this right there, just so it starts sitting there. And uh, yeah, but we're not going to be doing battering today, at least not with the piglins. Um, okay, we're not going to do any battering at all. We're going to do some befriending. Because in this episode, I'm going to do some stuff with the striders, I believe they're called. Yep, striders indeed. And uh, yeah, that's pretty. That's that's what we're gonna be doing. To, uh, that's what we will be doing in today's episode. So to start off, I'm gonna make a fishing rod. No, not because we're gonna fish in the lava. Um, no, we're gonna make a warped fungus on a stick because we can actually ride these spiders on lava, which is really really cool. Um, I'm also gonna grab the saddle because well, I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna ride on striders today and I'm gonna I'm gonna take them with me uh, I don't want to lose them though uh, you know what I'm gonna leave them there I'm gonna leave them till I need them um, and then I'm gonna 
those things are gonna drive me crazy at one point, aren't they? Okay, um, fire resistance, maybe I'll need some extra, just in case. We have plenty, so I mean, yeah, that's cool. Um, saddle, warped fungus on a stick, and one warped fungus, uh, blah, blah, warped fungus, okay, cool. Um, I'm also going to take the crimson fence, and I'm gonna take the warped fence gate. And let me see, do I have, I do not have any, I do have basalt, but I'm not gonna use that for anything. Okay, so, my original plan was to use our old farm area, or our old um, hogland area over here, to make a farm for the, for the striders. Turns out, they do not like staying outside of lava. I don't even know if you can take them, I don't even think you can get them outside of lava. Yes, I just did that. What, you're looking at my boots? Leggings? Stop looking. Um, yeah, I tried luring a strider uh, out from the lava and it did not work. It did not work, so good to know because then what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically make a small little fenced in area down at the lava beach. Now, I could make it right here and thinking about it, I am gonna make it right here because it is the closest to home. So let's get to it, shall we? So I don't want it too big of an area, but I do need to clear out some uh, some area here. So I'm just gonna dig. I'm, I'm I'm gonna be careful because I can hear lava nearby, and looking down there is lava under us, in fact. So I don't want to get cooked, not in this episode, and hopefully we won't, thanks to this. So. Yeah, but I'm gonna clear out an area. Uh, I'm definitely gonna need some of this magma stuff. Well, what am I clearing out really? Mm, I think I think I have some ideas. I think I have an idea. I'm gonna clear out a little bit of an area, not too much. Uh, this might already be too much. Let me clear some of this stuff out, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so I stopped the excavation a little bit because I'm out of wood and my pickaxe got destroyed and yeah, I need more wood and I don't have that much in back in my storage, so I'm gonna mine some back at the wood farm place. But I just wanna show you that you can actually bone meal this stuff here and you get, well, stuff. So that is pretty cool. Now we can get um, these warped fungus a lot easier and the same uh, is for the crimson um, dirt ground thing so yeah just thought I'd let you know that because that's that's really cool and now I think our garden or our front yard here looks a lot nicer so yeah that's that's cool just wanted to uh, to show you <laughs> I angered an enderman now I'm happy that I have that extra armor where are you he teleported away so I think that just means he's gonna come back and haunt me at a later date. I'm just gonna go chop my wood and um, I'll see if he returns at some point. I hate it when they teleport away and then don't come back because I don't know if they're gonna show up behind me and scare me or punch me in lava or something. But I hear you. I hear you out here. Or back here, or wherever here is. Oh, there he is, oh dear. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. That's it. Ow. Rude. 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 Yeah, I can take a hit now. How about that? Just in time. Okay. That's that taken care of. I'm gonna keep uh, chopping wood. Also speaking, uh, speaking about the the gold axe having less dur the th only like 32 durability. Yeah, the wooden axe is actually better, and even though the speed is not the same as golden one, then I think I can live with it. I just really, really hope that they're gonna make this stuff decay just like normal uh, trees in the old world. I really, really hope so. All right, I have cleared this little bit uh, area out, and I th my thought was just to connect the lava to each other. 
like this, kinda. And then I can use my bucket. Uh, wait, I can't just take from the lava because the lava won't restock itself, quote unquote. Uh, I need to take it from like over there or something. Um, just I just want to make this like a little bit pretty because if they just have to stay in lava, then I mean, I can make that happen with having a small like lava lake going in and then maybe having a fence gate or something and my pickaxe broke again. Uh, sigh. I think I might really start to consider an iron pickaxe <laughs> or using the diamond one or something. Uh, well, I'm gonna take the lava from this place and uh, we're also really close to them. So that is perfect. So let me try and get... No. This, this is just not gonna work for me. This is not gonna work for me. <laughs> it's just not gonna work for me. There we go. Okay. So if I just start filling this up and then I'll be right back with you once this thing is uh, filled. I'll be right back. Alright, and that should be the final one. So I feel like expanding it a little bit maybe here and here. So I'm gonna need a little bit more. Alright, I think this will do for now. I just need to get over here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess this could work. Remove maybe some of this stuff there. Creepy ambient noise, go away because you're creepy and I don't want ya. <laughs> Yeah, I think this I think this could work. And then what I guess I want to do then is fence in this area right here. Um, one block, pretty much, from the um, from like the lava here. And I suppose I'll get rid of this one and put it like so. Uh, I don't like how this touches at all. So I think I might do some terraforming, but I think. This would then work if I just do maybe something like that. Oh, there's a gas over there. That's not nice. Um, I think I'm gonna put some more of like magma. Uh, eh, whatever these are called, I can't remember their names. In here, but um, other than that, I think I do like this. I think I do like this. There's a gas right there, so I don't like that whatsoever. Um, and then just lead this like, I guess over here and then close it from here. Yeah, I guess that'll work. And they have a small little area here. So I guess I want to put some more magma blocks there and magma blocks here. So let me get some. All right. I think, ow, <laughs> I think this is going to work. Ow. I think this is going to work. I do think though what I want to do is just complete the fence all the way around like up here as well just to keep i guess stuff out i don't know um <laughs> but yeah just i guess also to make it look a little bit nicer so i guess maybe it, i guess i didn't have to remove this actually i kind of did yeah it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine and then gonna lead this down here am i gonna have enough uh no I'm not. This will have to touch, which I don't like. Uh, do that. You know what? That's fine. I think this is good. Let me know what you think down below. Yeah, I think I quite like this. I do think, though, that I am going to give this fence a little bit of a breathing room. Maybe like so. Yeah, that looks good, I think. Then maybe remove that to show more magma. And then remove that, because that's going to look weird. And ow. And yeah, I think, I think this is pretty cool. I don't feel like this blue stuff like belongs nearby. Guess I'll do that. And yeah, not too bad, I wouldn't say. Not too bad. I, I like this place. Now, what I want to do is I want to get rid of this one, or this fence right here and this fence right here. And then I want to replace it with this. So I'm going to need to remember, first of all, how to make a fence gate like so. Boom. And how am I going to do this? Eh? Eh? Uh, no. Ow, 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 ow. Eh? Is that a block? That's a glitchy block. Get that. 
And all you have to crouch at this. <laughs> and boom. Because now we can open that and get access. I guess it would look better if I just did that. Yeah. Cool. And I want to block this off too. Uh, of course, I don't have any more fence to do that with. But I guess that is fine. Eh. Guess out. I'll, I'll find a way. Eh. I think I'm hurting my arm I actually doing that. So I need to stop doing that. <laughs> uh, let me just make some more fence then. And boom. There we go. And I guess now we should just go ahead and find a strider to befriend or a couple because you can't read them um, If I remember correctly, so let me just pack up Let me get some new tools because mine are in a very poor shape some of them anyway mainly the axe and uh, yeah Let me get back to you Yeah, all right. I think I am good to Go. I don't think this is gonna break. Well, it might break, but I think I'll be fine. Apparently, I have this growing here as well. All right. Well, let's head over to the uh, the Striders. Let's see. I do have. Yes, I do. Okay. Cool. I think I'm gonna move this way around to the other lava uh, beach over here to see if there are any well, any close by. I'm a little bit terrified trying to ride one of these because, um, well, lava. <laughs> I I think I saw a video where uh, the guy did uh, got off of it and he landed in the lava. So I hope that won't happen. Uh, these guys seem a little bit. Well, we'll try. We'll try to see if we can attract them with some. Uh, oh well, there's one right here. Oh, perfect. Let's get down here. No, oh, there's two here actually. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you're so cute. <laughs> okay, look at this. So, saddle. Like that. I'm gonna do this before I get off. I'll do it before I get off. And, oh, oh okay, Dirk. This is both cool and amazing. <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> he looks cute. He does look cute. Um, oh wait, I have, oh, I have more following me. I mean, you you can keep up if you want. Okay, uh, whoa, the steering is weird. The steering is weird. Let's see if I can get a couple of these with me. Actually, I can. <laughs> and if I remove it, they all stop. But if I take this out, maybe. No. Oh, yep. All right, come on, buddies. Come on, guys. Follow me and I should be able to right-click this guy as well to make him go a little bit faster This is cool though. Now I can actually get to that enderman is angry <laughs> I can now well move across lava lakes Like this like this is cool. Like look at me <laughs> We're traveling on the lava. This is not a lava boat But I like this. I like this a lot. Just don't walk into those. That's bad. Also, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it takes durability away. Like it hasn't taken any off of it yet. Only when I have like right clicked it. But I mean, this is cool. I like this. Now, how do I get off without landing in the lava itself? And how do I make it stay in one spot? That's my question. If I'm out looting stuff, I don't have leads. I don't have any leads, so that's an issue. I guess I just need to carry some fence with me and I can fence it in somehow. I suppose that's doable. But I mean, look at this. This is really cool. <laughs> We're traveling on lava. On this guy. Just Whatever you do, don't press shift. Don't press shift. And, and in fact, I'm moving my hand away from the keyboard. <laughs> I'm moving away from the shift key. This is cool, though. Like, look how we can travel now. Yeah, this is cool. What I think I might do, actually, is find a cool route, or I guess the shortest route, to a nearby unloaded area. Or where the... Where an area of unloaded uh, or a new chunks of the nether gets generated 
aka gold. Maybe set up a temporary base of operation so I can get there easily. I'll learn the route in and out and I can get there uh, via lava and I can get there pretty easily and then to mine gold at that place. That could be pretty cool. I do have my fire resistance potion here though, just in case. I do like this. This is cool. It is actually saying some sound, so I guess turn friendly creatures on. Oh, can't believe I did. Why did I have that turned off? Huh? It says some cool sounds right here. <laughs> I like this. It was fun. I just tried holding down W and pressing control. I don't think that makes us go any faster, even though it looks like it. I don't think we are. I can't control it with W A S uh, A S D though, and W. That has no effect on it. Only the fungus on a stick, which hasn't lost any durability yet. Only when I have right clicked it. So that's cool. Oh, there's some more striders here. We are out exploring the nether on lava. This is cool. Alright, well, as exciting as this is, I think I'm gonna have to turn back around because I need to... Uh, <laughs> I need to... I want to try and breed them, basically. I want to try and breed them because we can also get string from them, I believe. So that is cool. So I wanna I wanna I wanna be able to breed them. I don't know if I really want to kill them because yeah, they're, they're just so cute. Um But we'll see, I definitely wanna try and breed them. Just at least to have have a couple to ride. I, I gotta have some friends down here, right? I'm all alone in this lava world with well weird pigs. <laughs> But yeah, I think I'm gonna return back home. Oh dear, my voice just went away. I'm gonna return back home, and we're gonna try and uh, breed some of them. So I'm gonna turn around, and uh, I'll be right back with you. If I can remember my way back to home, that is. Oh dear. Alright, I have found my way back home, and I'm gonna try to see if it's possible to potentially... Get a couple more fellas here with me, or at least one. So I'm gonna take the fungus here, warped fungus, in my offhand, and I'm gonna go, stop, go, so that this guy can can uh, keep up. And I do see a flaw here. Now, how fast can I mine? I don't think the mining speed has even decreased it. Is it decreased? I'm not sure actually, but yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of this so I can actually get in here. But I have two of these fellas here with me, so this is cool. I'm gonna try and breed them once we get inside. Ooh. A little, a little low roof here. <laughs> I'm a bit scared of trying to get off this thing. Um, but we're gonna try. So open these, and we're in. Now, how do you get up here? No, it does not want to get up. Only this guy. I guess we're gonna go ahead and close those. <laughs> and here's the scary part. Uh, I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna have that ready. Ah! Yep, that happened. I'm glad I had that now. <laughs> a little bit of a waste, I feel, but eh, it's fine. Not too bad. Uh, get rid of that. All right, so let's try and breed these two. Um, like so. And oh, and the, 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 look at that little guy! <laughs> look at that little guy! Look at that little guy! That's cool. All right, so we have Striders. Cool. Well, if you guys want to name, I can't, unfortunately. Uh, I don't have any name tags. I guess we could make an exception with these guys. I guess... What do you think? Should we allow some name tags to be, to get in here just to name these guys? Um, in um, Just because of the series? Let me know what you think. And if you think so, um, 
Let me know what you think we should call our friend here. And I guess both of them. Let me know. Anyways, I think that is going to be it for this episode right here. I think we did a pretty good job and it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I can get pretty far with these things. Well, I can definitely run faster, but I can cross lava, which is really, really cool. So yeah, I think we're going to call it right here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions or anything like that, be sure to leave it down below in the comments. But anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and uh, goodbye. Bye.